Hello everyone, it's your boy Nornrad89 here, and today we're going to get into some seed theory testing from Marvel Strike Force, opening some orbs. Maybe we'll get lucky and get that squirrel girl. Stay tuned. This is your boy Nornrad89 here, coming to you with another Marvel Strike Force video. Today we're going to be doing some orb openings. We're going to be testing a little bit of seed theory today. Wanted to give it a shot and everything. I've done it before, not recording it and everything, but wanted to give it a shot and record it this time. Been saving up a little bit of orbs. Don't have that many, but been saving up and like... I got some red stars, and for the next 24 hours, we have a special drop percentage increase for Squirrel Girl. So I'm going to be going for that and hopefully get at least, like, hopefully like a decent good amount. I don't know how good she's going to be, but I'm going to hopefully get a good amount of red stars on her. And she's going to be a campaign character, so she's going to be pretty easy to get stars on and increase and everything if you're able to save your cores and do all that for that event. Now the general idea behind seed theory is that you're going to use the algorithm that they preset in the game to hopefully get better drops for your orbs. So what we're going to do is go to the gold orbs and we're going to try and see if we can get, actually I think i got to change this because we're on the multi orb thing. We got to try to get either a purple drop or a gold drop is what we want. And then we'll move to the red star orbs. So let's jump into this and get the gold orbs going. And like I said, I'm doing this because we have the 24 hour special event for Squirrel Girl. So I was like, ah, we'll open the red stars right now because I'm not itching like crazy to have red stars on like major characters right now. It's not a must. So. I kind of just save them. I don't really use them that much. So let's get open and see what we can do. Oh, we got a purple already. All right, so we got one purple already. 175,000 in the middle. So we're going to go oh, back out of that. We're going to go to the red stars right now. And just go directly to these and see how we do on the drops. Ooh, got was that blue? Three red stars on Squirrel Girl already. First pull, very first pull. <laughs> That's awesome. Let's see what we can do. See if this is a good seed. Another blue, three on her. So we got her twice in a row. That's not good because we don't want her constantly. But, oh, green. Let's see. We'll open two more. And if we don't, green. If we get another green, we'll go try to reset the seed. Yeah, we got another green. So let's go. We're going to try to reset this. What I do is I'll claim some dailies. We'll claim the reward. Go back to the gold orbs and see if we get another pull. At least we got we got Squirrel Girl already, so that's good. Three red stars, which she's definitely going to I'm definitely going to be able to get her to three stars, so that's good. Let's see, greens, oh, got was that blue? Greens, blues, blue, come on, another blue, let's see, we'll open maybe a couple more. I mean, we got decent drops in blues, but no purples, so... Let's see, because I don't have too many green saved up. Let's go in here, claim another reward, try to reset the seed. Let's go, and this, this really isn't a guarantee thing. Like, this is just another great way, maybe, if you're interested in opening your orbs and you're bored, you know, something different to do instead of just doing the traditional way. Got yeah, blue, we're getting blues, a lot of blues, but just that one purple in the beginning. Coming down to the last of our gold orbs. So if we come down to the last of them, we'll probably just open all our red stars and give it a shot. Let's see. 
since we got four more left, <clears throat> let's go and try to reset the seed. Excuse me. Claim a reward. Go back out. Go back to the gold orbs. Yeah, we just got lucky with that. I mean, I guess it's cool. We got it very early in that first pull. Nice purple, and we got some squirrel girl, but if it doesn't work out this way, because I have her three red stars, four would be great. But I'm not really saving my red stars for any other purpose, so yeah, we're just going to get blues. So we might as well just... Let's go out and see if we could just... We'll just claim another reward. Reset it. Then go into red stars and see what luck we got. See, we got 10. Oh, we got a purple right off the bat. Eh, duplicate. Hydra scientist, it looks like. Blue. That was an upgrade. That's all right, I guess. Wasp isn't great. I already have seven red stars on Black Widow, so that's kind of sad. She's three red stars, but I have seven on her, actually. I'm kind of grinding her to seven as we speak. So, Corvus is another character I have seven red stars on, so that's kind of hilarious. Oh, duplicates. We got five more. Like I said, we might as well go all the way and just see what we get, but looks like we just had luck in that early draw. Bunch of trash now. We got three more. All green. Let's see. We're going to do not do that. We're going to claim another reward and see if we can reset the seed for the last two. Who knows? Maybe we'll get something great. Uno. Was that a blue? Crystal? Nice. Three red stars on crystal. And three red stars on falcon. I got that already. So overall, yeah. Wasn't too, too bad. So, like I said, it's just seed theory is another way to open your orbs. You know, if you're bored, test it out. You know, it's trying to play on the algorithm to try to get better drops that they use for the game. So, you know, you never know. Maybe we'll give it another shot, see what we get. Like I said, pretty cool. We got three red stars on Squirrel Girl, wherever she's at. Got them. So her event will be coming pretty soon. And then it's a campaign event, I heard. So we'll definitely be able to get her to three stars. So we'll see how usable and how good she'll be. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and everything. Leave a like. Hit that subscribe button in the bottom right corner for me. And keep these Strike Force videos coming. Support the channel. Catch you guys later. Peace out.